everyone. It's December 11, 2008. I'm Dwight Schmuck. This is the Schmuck Look. Today, I think we're going to do Schmuckonomics 2. Gosh, it's hard being correct this often. The house is going to go along with a 14.9 billion, that is with a B, bailout of the big three automakers. GM said on Monday, I think it was, that, you know, they uh, they dropped the ball, shall we say. They let their quality go down. They didn't listen to the consumer. You know, the folks buying the cars, fellas, and all of you CEOs, every bloody one of you, I want you to listen. Yes, your job is to make the business as profitable as possible. And that, of course, does mean keeping your costs as low as possible. But let's not forget the food chain. You know, if all of a sudden the guys at the bottom of the pile ain't getting anything, well, they're not going to buy the products you put out. It's kind of a simple thing. Maybe you should go back and, you know, start with your basics. Who buys the stuff you are <coughs> producing? Duh! Just something to think about. You know, when you're shipping all those jobs overseas because, oh, the labor cost is just so much cheaper and putting thousands and thousands of people out of work here... You know, the trickle-down thing that Reagan was so popular with? Well, golly, fellas, it works like that. If we don't have any money, we can't spend it. Did no one tell you this? Let me be the first. I see in the BBC that Woolworths in the UK is having a store closure sale. Merry Christmas, guys. Sorry about that. Another bunch of top execs who got paid a lot, who fell behind the curve. Way behind. They forgot, as apparently all of these geniuses are doing and have done, it's the consumer that counts. You get into all these big and grandiose things, and you, 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 you did the, you know, you, you got bigger. Oh, my you were doing your jobs while you were in control of all this stuff. And what did you find out? Oopsie. Oopsie is right. Now, I did also see that Canada's biggest buyout deal ever, and I forget the companies involved, but it fell apart on the very eve of the day it was supposed to be consummated. And it's funny. Now, it was a leveraged buyout thing of some communications industry, da-da-da-da-da. What is comical about this is they had an outside auditing firm. Now, this deal was started back in 2007, for God's sake. So, you know, there's been plenty of time to do the outside audit. The auditing firm in charge came back finally and said, you know what, the debt on this is going to be just far too big. And there we go, folks, the Schmuckonomics 2. All of these companies, every bloody one of them, the big three, Merrill Lynch, whose CEO, after losing $11.4 billion, had the, the nerve to say he wants a $10 million bonus. Uh, <laughs> again, the, and, you know, there's you know, what the hell, the board said, well, it's a tough political climate, we'll have to think about this. Do you think, guys? But here it is, here it really is. You went and you bought and you bought and you bought. And of course, when you bought, you had interest because you didn't have cash for these deals, you had to, there it is, there's the word, you had to borrow the money. Now you put loads and loads of people out of work who in turn could not buy the products being produced. See what I'm talking about here. Now you can't pay and you've refused to give us jobs. We can't pay so you can't pay. Remember those two words at the beginning of this? Food chain. It works like that. Did you forget? You know, if your lawn 
doesn't have the worms and little critters your lawn is going to be a desert it's that simple you got to have us little critters and you got to feed us it works like this fellas and the reason the biggest reason to my mind again schmuckonomics too that Congress has not done anything but say here's some more money to guys who are already bankrupt you already blew it but here's some more here have a nice day these are people who spend millions of dollars for jobs that don't pay millions of dollars you know the fish rots from the head down and dumb is as dumb does you want to know why there's fiscal irresponsibility because these people have no concept of what it really is to earn money the old-fashioned way not by signing a piece of paper and doing value added but by making something and working for it schmuckonomics value is created by the work the labor involved not because you signed a piece of paper and moved it on there you go schmuckonomics 2 folks have a great day peace